uh, video replay for the first time tonight, uh, at least in one of your guys' games. What did you think about it? And this might be something that they bring out in the second half of the game, or the second half of the season. Uh, uh, do you feel like it's something that you would like to see out there? I mean, I think uh, it doesn't really matter what I think because they're going to do it. Um, but I think in theory, if they get it cleaned up, um, it'll hopefully limit mistakes. You know, key match incidents where there's where there are big mistakes, where the referee makes a bad call. So um, I'm okay with a call if it's if it's a red card. And uh, I haven't watched it yet, but I, but I heard it was so. Uh, at the end of the day, if they get the calls right, we'll get some for us, we'll get some against us. Um, but I think if you ask any coach, we're going to want the right calls. So, uh, you know, I think if they can limit the, the time it takes to make those decisions, um, we certainly don't want it to be a more choppy game. Um, but we definitely want to get, uh, you know, big calls right, red cars, PKs, goals. Um, and so, in theory, if they can do that, um, you know, there's really no argument from the from the coaches, right? Because if they have time to look at the video and make the right call and, and they get those things right, then uh, I think we're all for that. What were your kind of takeaways from the game? Uh, the players, you got your starters out for a bit longer in this one, um, and obviously Blanco made saw his first minutes. Very good, very good. You know, when you look at the. Two games. I look at it two games, just like the last game. It was two games. Um, you know, 58 minute game and a you know 32 minute game, and you know we won the won the 58 minute game 3-2 down a man. Uh, anytime you you scored two goals down a man, um, disappointing obviously to give up the the late goal with that other group that we subbed in. Um, but uh, if you get a point uh, in a game where you go down a man take it. Um, but I thought uh, the group that played 58 minutes uh, looked very good, very composed. Uh, I think this is going to be one of our best passing teams that, that we've ever had here. I think that showed every single player is technical and can play. Uh, so we've got, you know, 10 guys that can keep the ball. And uh, the ability of that line of three to rotate and interchange and take up different positions is going to be uh, really fun to work with, and uh, it's going to give the opponents some interesting things to have to uh, to sort out. Um, you know, so I thought uh, it was very good. I thought we were sharp, but we were the better team uh, until the red card. I thought we were the better team after the red card, and we d we deserved to uh, be up three two when we made the subs. Well, specifically on Blanco, what did you think of his first minutes with the group? Very good. He's a good player. He's technical. He's quicker than you think. He can battle more than you think. Um, we're going to uh, get a lot of stuff through him, uh, no doubt about it. We'll get stuff through him because, you know, he'll get crosses in. He got a cross with the right foot. He went on the left. He got a cross in the left foot. Um, he'll pop up in different spots. Um, he'll help us keep the ball. You saw his work rate defensively, so it's exactly what, what we thought he'd, he'd be. Um, and again, with Larry and him, those three guys being able to interchange at times and take up different positions and play in the pockets and then also, you know, fade wide like you see with Blanco when he gets wide. Uh, that's why he is a true winger. He can play like a winger. You know, he's not a, uh, a playmaker that we're shoving wide. Um, he's a winger. Um, but he's a winger that can come inside and create problems. Does the red card, do you think, frustrate your sort of ability to get what you wanted uh, out of the game, at least after that red card a little bit? Or? Not really, because we won the game, you know, 3-2. We got those guys out, so I thought we dealt with it really well. And uh, we scored two goals down a man, so you, you got to like that uh, response and, and our ability to do that. Um, you know, and I still thought we were the better team down a man. So... Uh, uh, if, if we weren't down a man, it probably would have been a lot more, you know, because we get that first goal and we start to roll a little bit. Um, and, you know, I think we would have had more control for sure in the game and then we would have created more chances. So I think, if anything, the attack, our ability to create uh, chances on goal, uh, you know, kind of suffered a little bit. 
Um, but in saying that, we had to dig in, we had to defend and adjust our tactics, and ultimately you, you use it as a, a, a lesson, a learning experience, to, um, and that's what we talked about at halftime. Because hopefully we're not down, down a man, but every year there seems to be one or two games when you are, and, and you have to manage it. And I thought they, they managed it very well. Who knows if we would have kept that group to play 90? You know, would, would, they, would they have kept the 3-2 win? I don't know. You know, but but uh, all I know is the game was 3-2 when we subbed those guys out. Caleb, in uh, previous years you would talk about how like you would have a situation like that and you guys would be chasing the game. Um, instead, you guys scored two goals. Uh, how does that feel? I think it shows how potent our attack is. Um, you know, we kept the ball. I mean, I think, again, you know, in us looking to try to build this team the, 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 the way we want to play, Way that I prefer to play, it's you know dominant football where you have the ball, you keep the ball, and you press and you lose it. And uh, we have ten field players uh, that can keep the ball, and we have ten field players that can press. And there's nobody, there's no luxury players. Um, you know, even even little Blancos jumping for head balls and slide tackling, and you know this is what it's going to be this year. It's going to be a true team, and everybody's going to work, and everybody's going to keep the ball, and everybody's going to, you know, at times take up different positions. And it's a little bit more the way uh, I like to set my teams up. Um, really tell intelligent uh, movement, uh, technical football, uh, and then immediate pressure. Um, and I thought that was there. Uh, on display, and it will be better, get better and better as time goes on, for sure. At times in Tucson, you have Darren Espria showing well. Uh, at times, you have Victor Arbelia showing well. Uh, tonight, it was Jack Barnby. How, uh, how, how do you, how you assess sort of the, the competition that's going on beneath Nagby and Blanco uh, on, on the wings for minutes from those depth guys? Yeah, it's great. I love it. I love it. It makes uh, training real. Uh, it means everybody's got to fight every day in training, which will mean we'll be sharper in games because of that. Um, that hunger will be there. It means we'll have a spirit in the team. Um, we will rotate our squad some, which hopefully means we don't get as many injuries. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun because we have a lot of guys that are going to show up uh, to work, and they're going to they're going to push, and they're going to grind, and they're going to compete. And uh, that's that's what I want. I want tough decisions, and uh, I, I don't have problem ma problems managing players ever. It's never been a problem of mine, so I have no problem telling a guy that he's in or out. Um, but I have a problem sometimes when I uh, don't have a good player to put in. One more timeline. Uh, do you think on Audi getting back in the team is this something we can expect yeah. in the next week in the midweek game? Yeah, I mean he probably would have played if it's a. Regular season game, we just didn't want to push it. There's no reason to risk it at this point. He was a little bit tight. Um, it's uh, it's kind of the same injury that he missed the first game with, uh, different leg though. Um, so I think it's just him getting back uh, up to speed, his legs underneath him. He's such a big body and he covers so much ground. Um, you know, we want to just err on the side of safety, caution with him. But uh, we expect that. Uh, he'll be in the Vancouver game. Maybe we'll get him, get him some minutes for the Minnesota game as well.